Hi, this is Dr. Jewel Williams here with our Fashion Fit Thursday, and I am still featuring pink. Remember to share the videos and go into the drawings for a winner to win free shipping for an entire month. Um, so again, I'm showing pink. So I've got quite a bit of things I'm going to be showing tonight. So if you see something you want, please put the number in the comment section. Also, if you never ordered with me before, please make sure to fill out the postable that's in the description uh, area so that I can send you your invoice. All right. Everything tonight is $5. Let me get started. So this is number 6259. Beautiful pink, little, little um, beautiful uh, earrings, wood earrings. And all of our necklaces come with a pair of complimentary earrings, except for the unisex or the men's. So this one is really pretty. This is actually one of my vintage. So you have these beautiful, almost marble size wood beads. They're kind of lacquered. So you have that beautiful shine to them. And they have the little brown beads separating them. So that is a super cute piece. Again, that is $62.59. So what I paired with this, because any of the pink go with it, but I paired number 278 which are these brown leaves if you want to pick more of the brown up. And then I paired it with the bracelet that I showed on Tuesday, which is 1043. So you have, again, that all wood and pink. So this way it kind of breaks the pink up a little bit. But again, some of the pink earrings will definitely go with that. All right, moving on. This is number 6229. Another one of the beautiful brown. Now this one, this one was more pink heavy. This one is more brown, uh, more of a brown top. So you have, again, that really cool shaped sizes of the wood. And then I love kind of almost the imperfections in the wood. So that it looks like somebody just hand did your piece. So you've, you've got the pink pieces and then you have the wood pieces as well. Now, I paired this with number 199, which is the uh, pink wood. And the same bracelet, you can partner with that as well. And you can do the same thing. So, for example, you can partner these with this one. That's number 199. Or you can partner the 278 with this. So, that's really kind of nice. You get, you know, you get a whole different look when you put the pink more of the pink stands up. When you put the brown, more of the brown takes center stage. So this is number 6229 and number 199. All right, for my pearl lovers, you've got this soft pink. Now this is a long necklace, but I had to wrap it so that I could uh, get to it. So this is number 6016 is the uh, necklace uh, number. And so this is really kind of a soft pink. You see the pretty little beadings there. Comes down to this kind of tassel hang. And so I partnered that with a couple of things. First of all, I partnered it with this earring, number 169. Look at that. I love just that little sparkle of the iridescent clear ones. And then you've got the pink flowers. So that's number 169 on the earring. I also partnered with number 1482, which is this pink and clear uh, bracelet. And really, any of the pinks um, that I've shown this week could match any of a lot of the pink pearl ones. Because I have a lot of the pink pearl ones. So, any of those should go fine. Then I partnered with number 933. I love this little tiara ring. You've got that tiara pink stone. And again, our rings go up to a size 11. That's number 933. All right, moving on, this next set. Actually, I'm partnering these two together. This is number 1244. It's the cuff bracelet. Oops. Sorry, dropped my tag. This is number 1244. It's a cuff bracelet. And I'm partnering it with number 931, which is this pink ring. So I think the two of these go together nicely. So 1244 is the bracelet. 931 is the ring. Moving on to this beauty. This is number 6427. You have the cute pink earrings. Now, I did not match it or pair 
uh, earrings with this. Because sometimes if I don't see the right pink, then um, I don't, you know, I just didn't want to just match anything for the sake of matching it. So, but this is a beautiful necklace. Also, you could match it or pair it with some of the the white stones or the clear stones that would go nice with that. But that's number 6427 for that necklace. All right, moving on to another wood. This is number 6257. Nice size earrings that come with it. This is one of the three strands. So this one is a little different than one I showed before because you have the ones facing you and then you have the ones that are... Um, uh, horizontal and so you have and then you have the dark stri um, threading through the piece so that is really super super cute now i partnered and this is number 6257 i partnered this with number 175 just a nice pair of earrings and of course like i said any of these you can mix match it even goes well with number 199 so a lot of these you can just mix and match with the set so again, this is 175. And then I partnered it with this bracelet number 1396. And I like this because again, it's not all pink. So you get to break it up a little bit. You've got the darker wood here. So it picks up the dark threading. Um, what's neat about this, depending on how you match in it, you could actually get really creative. You can do an orange earring with this if you wanted to, or white earring, or even the dark wood. So um, let me just show you if you want to do the dark wood with this so it picks up the dark in the in the necklace or in the bracelet I'm one that I will kind of try a bunch of stuff so you know don't tell me what I can't do I'll try it um, this is number H12 this is one of our bows little hair clips this is a two-piece these are smaller these are H12 I like these. I mean, I used to wear these even as long as my hair is. I would just wear them right in the front. Or sometimes if I put my hair up in a ponytail, I put it right on the top of the ponytail. Um, just a little clip. Use two of these. This is number H12. All right, moving on. Okay, this is another one of those this long, so I had to wrap it. So this is number, this is number 6420. See the cute pink earrings. And then let me show you the necklace. I just love this. It's like a, just a piece hanging. And look at all of the beautiful stones. And it goes all the way around. And they're light at the top. And they get darker as you go down. It's just a really simple piece. But she makes a statement. So I partnered her with number 1046. You know, I love a snap. So this way you pick up a little of the bling in the bracelet that you also can kind of um, complement in the necklace. So that's number 1046. And then the earrings that I have with this is number 170. Uh, they remind me of the Etch-A-Sketch, that spirogram or whatever it was called we used to have as kids. But I love this. You've got those beautiful stones and that will um, complement well with that necklace. All right, here we go with another three strand in the pink. This one is different because you've got the open pieces, the smaller pieces, and then the, the closed um, bigger pieces. But they're all facing forward. And you have that three-strand layer. This is number 6345. 6345. And so the earrings on this are an open set. Now, I want a little bit different, right? You could do the wood, again. The brown wood, for example, would go with this just as well. So that 278 and then you match up because it's got the brown wood so the brown wood will go with that um the the pink would go with that that's number 199 but i did something a little different even though it's more of a casual necklace because it's wood you've got the strand i kind of bumped it up i zhuzhed it up a little bit i gave you a fancier earrings this is number 168 look at the beautiful pink on that they're they're hoops so I just gave you something a little bit more because you could do the same thing with this one. If you just want to take it up a little bit more, bling it out a little bit, you can use that 168 with that pair of... Okay, go back on. Thank you. All right, going to this back row. This is number 6577. So you've got the pink, but this is the dark wood. You have that kind of suede um, th threading or the threading necklace. And then you see you've got the pink, the light pink, the dark pink, and then you've got the wood elements, some wood, um, the little charms at the end. 
So that's a really cute piece. So I partnered her a couple of ways. So I went with number 295, which is this wood piece earring, just to kind of bring in some of the wood elements that you have in there. That's number 295. And then I have two different braces. This is number 1488. So look at this. This is an expander. But you see, you've got the pop up pink and then the black. And then you have just some of the colors that are also in this piece. That, that metallic or the metal look is also in the bracelet. So that's number 1488. And then 1446, you've got the pop of pink, the wood, and the silver. So she would also go well with that. Um, piece. So let me just show you that again. I just think it's cute. She's got all these little charms on her. Again, so that piece is number 6577. All right, this is number 62. You know, I'm looking upside down. 6256. It's a nice size earring, and I love this. Just a simple um, stone. It's kind of long, but I had to wind it. Simple stone, but still just a pretty piece. Um, I partnered that with number 161. Since the stone in the necklace is a little more simple, I thought she could handle the weight, if you will, of a little bit more uh, blinged out uh, earring. Another bracelet that I partnered with this, uh, a bracelet I partnered with is number 1467. I love that it's got the multicolors. You have the purple, yellow, and the pink. Because this is a, a simple necklace, she can handle that and you could really kind of dress her up with whatever colors you want it. All right, I have another bracelet. This is number 1457. So this, I believe I only have two or three left of this beautiful pink pearl with the flower and the stones. So that's number 1457 for that beauty. This is number 1420. I love that clear, almost frosty look. And then you see the silver pieces actually look frosted. Oops. So you have that nice bracelet. So that is number 1420. This is number 1390. 1390. I love the bracelet. See those? You've got the dark, the pink beads with some little of the dark stones. It's a nice bracelet. This is one of those that makes for a nice stacking as well. So stop flipping. This is number 1390. All right, I'm going to look at this one. Now, this beauty is number 6253. This is one of my vintage. So she's pink, but she almost really has kind of an orange, almost an orangey tone. But this is pink. See the little clear stones at the top? She's a petite piece. So with her, I paired a couple of things. I paired H11, which is this two-piece flower. The Love Bracelet, which is 1391. This is a two-piece. It says Love. And then I went with these earrings. This is number 120. Now, you have the multicolors in this. So you've got that pink, almost orange look that that complements that necklace as well so just a little bit of a different feel to that even this 1390 could kind of kind of compare or pair with that all right moving on this next bracelet is number 1045 another pink nice nice beauty that's number 1045 this beauty is number 1469, just another pink. This is number 1228. Look at this beautiful pink. So you see they got the it's actually more of a multicolor, but that butterfly. And can you see the beautiful pink and kind of purple color in the middle? So that's number 1228 for that beauty. This is number 681, beautiful butterfly in pink. So these two, you could partner together. 681. All right, let me look at this piece. So this is number 6431. You've got the cracked stone in the pink. It comes down into this kind of 
um, double link almost where it looks like it's twisted on itself. You have, this always reminds me of a perfume bottle. So you have the, the heavier, I mean the cracked stones. Now it does have a little bit of weight. It's not super heavy, but it's a little bit of weight to it because of the cracked stones. Then I parted it with number 1058, which is that same cracked stone in the bracelet. It is a three-piece stretchable. And then partnered it with number 905, which is that cracked stone pink um, ring. But also, this is number 627 in the cracked stone pink. So you have an option of which one. Now, on the earrings, I didn't do cracked stone. I did number 192, which is a little bit of the seed bead, kind of an oblong shape. Because I didn't want anything too ornate because the necklace is ornate. But I wanted something just to give me a little pop of pink. And that's what we did here. So that's number 192. All right, moving on. This is number 6535. It is a long necklace, but look at this beautiful pink heart. You see the stones around it. It comes with a pair of petite earrings. That's number 6535. I partnered this with number 191B. As you can see, this is a pink and red little heart. These are super cute. The little drop hearts. 191B. Also, I partnered it with number 1493, which is this beautiful cuff bracelet. See the little pink heart? Or with number uh -oh, 1374. So this one is a, another one that's a multicolor. So you got the clear, then you have the um, plain heart, then you've got the red, and then on this other side, You've got the pink. So this is a multicolored one. So if you've got some red hearts or some pink hearts, you could wear with either one. And that's 1374. It is a clasp. All right, I showed you that. This set is number 1044. I love this animal print um, bracelet. And then I partnered it with number H18, which is this pink kind of animal print or plaid type print on the bow i thought that would make for a nice set all right this is number 6057 now this is a long one as well you've got the tassel earrings you can kind of see those and it comes down to this beautiful piece look at that it's got pink but you've got a little bit of blue that picks up a little bit of purple really nice pair a uh, nice necklace. And so I partnered this with number 626, which are these beautiful. And I realized I never showed these before. So they've been hanging and I haven't showed them. But this is a perfect pair to go with this set. Because it's that pink, but it does the same thing. It picks up that little bit of the uh, purple. So you get that, that really nice combination on that. So that's number 626 for those earrings. And then I partnered with number 997. 997 is that pink ring that does the same thing. You have that, um, uh, excuse me, you have the, catches the, the light in different ways. You've got a little bit of the blue and purple in that as well. And then you see those beautiful stones around it. So that's number 997 for that ring. All right, the very last item is this long necklace. Now, I've showed you this in a couple of colors. In purple, I had it in orange. Now, I think I had it in yeah, purple, orange. And now here it is in the pink. I love the kind of ragged um, edge shape. So it looks more like somebody just kind of chopped wood and made a necklace. So this is number 6024. You've got the beautiful pink earrings. Now, I partnered this with number 277B, which are these chocolate brown earrings. And again, like all of the other ones, you can partner it with the pink if you want to. You can even do the pink here. So you can do them with any of those. So again, let me know what you want by putting it in a comment and I will take care of the rest. All right, bye-bye.